Hello, I'm Joseph Alpert, Editor-in-Chief of the American Journal of Medicine, and I'm here today to call your attention to a very interesting article that's in the journal this month. Um, it deals with a topic that I've actually been interested in for quite a long time, the so-called Minoka uh, patients. So that stands for myocardial infarction in the absence of coronary obstruction. In other words, patient comes in, has a good story, uh, chest pain, discomfort, the electrocardiogram shows changes, and and the biomarkers, the troponin go, is elevated, so hey, this is a patient with a heart attack, patient with a myocardial infarct. And so we take the patient to the cath lab, guess what? There's either minor or hardly any obstruction in the coronaries. So right now, there's a lot of research going on to try and figure out, wait a minute, how come they had a heart attack? What happened here? How did we get obstruction of coronary blood flow? Well, um, the article here is from Italy, and they reviewed a large number of patients that they had with this Minoka syndrome, um, and they found that, of course, they did better than the people who had the real obstruction but they didn't do perfect. They continued to have problems. Uh, interestingly enough, they didn't respond well to beta blockade therapy, um, and that they continued to have a number of, uh, ev of events downstream, not as much as if they'd had a major heart attack with an obstructed coronary, but different from uh, as if they'd had nothing. So it means you gotta pay attention to these patients, and we're still not sure exactly how to take care of them or what the underlying pathophysiology is. So stay tuned for a lot more information on Minoka. By the way, they represent about 10% of the people who, with myocardial infarcts who get taken to the cath lab. And of course, don't forget to follow us on our blog uh, and of course also on our many social media aspects, Facebook and Twitter and so forth.